Jojo has fun. Nerd. And welcome to, to uh, Jojo has fun, where Emma is asking me what I think. What do you think? About what? I don't know. Life. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> is <know>. it though? <laughs> is it okay? No. No. So, <laughs> did you so want me to ask you how you are or what you think? <laughs> well, I mean, because I don't want to. Okay, I mean, like the rules of our show and all, but what's fine? <laughs> <laughs> I think the prosecution is as confused as we are. Oh, I forgot why we were confused. What happened? Uh, who cares, Jeff? We're confused. Also, After all, the v- oh. this show doesn't have rules. Who is uh, Lana? Which one's Lana? Um, wait, yeah, who's Lana? Oh, that's me. Um, how what, what'd you make uh, her sound like? I think she was like monarch, my like British monarchist. Um, that seems that actually seems right. Victim was murdered in two different places at the same time. But like kind of crackly. There she is. And a different suspect was arrested at each of the crime scenes. Look at her dead, dead eyes. That voice matches that. She's oh been in prison God. a while. We had to exile my <laughs> son and his wife. I am not amused. <laughs> Lena. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Wright. I apologize for yesterday. I was indisposed. In jail. In pooping. I hope they didn't hold you too long for questioning. Oh, we just finished, actually. I'm used to all-nighters, though. Is that a sex thing? You also, know? what are you looking at up there? There's a bird outside. <laughs> it's a, it's a, a pigeon got in here. I'm curious as to how they're going to get that it, bad boy out. It's stealing all the bagels. <laughs> <laughs> I had a guy. What? I'm oh, sorry. As is Mr. Wright suspects, the police are clueless. How unusual. <laughs> you, mis- you, mis- mis- you, mis- you said suspects like the noun. Yes. <laughs> As is Mr. Suspects. Wright suspects. <laughs> a clueless. So I'm really distracted by this pigeon. I now she's it- now she's dire about it. Yeah. I figured as much, so I struck a plea bargain. You dumb asshole. Did it hit back? A play bargain? What do you mean by that? That was a pretty good bit, I said. Yeah, it was yeah. great. Yeah, it was good. We agreed that if I told them the truth behind this simultaneous murder, quote unquote, they wouldn't seek capital punishment. That's, oh, so lowercase only. Yeah, so I'm oh. confused. Like, is this, does that happen here? What? Apparently. Capital punishment? Oh, fuck yeah. People die. Oh, That's man. That's why it's so serious we do this shit right. Okay. Yeah. That's what I mean, Emma. But Lena, <laughs> Lena, Lena, don't tell me you. Much to my regret, as, uh, I'm as much in the dark about this as they are. Miss Sky. What up? <laughs> Holler at you, boy. <laughs> we found trace evidence of a certain person in the police department's evidence room. You used the black light. I'm sorry. <laughs> they belong to Officer Jack Meha. <laughs> mm-hmm. What kind of ew, gross trace evidence? Ugh. Blood-stained fingerprints. The kind to only get from J.O.ing too much in one day. And not using any lotion. That's right. Chafing will get you. A dry glaze. Or real dry. That's the trump card, and I have a... Wait, I missed a word or added one. Yeah. That's the trump card I have on my sleeve today. You do understand what this means, don't you? Bingo. (laughs) Bingo bongo. In order to defend my sister... (laughs) (laughs) Went a little Bobcat gold tweet there. You gonna uh, accuse Mr. Marshall? Yeah. And uh, I know it sounds shocking, everybody, but I feel in no way bad about that. Yeah. He seems like a wacko. We have no. to play the cards. We're dead. We got to know when to hold them. Yeah. We got to know when to fold them. When and we got to know when to walk off. away and when to accuse a cowboy. <laughs> That's how you play goldfish. <laughs> uh, also, I just realized that the voice I have for her is going a little bit towards taco. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's fine. I'm so deep into that podcast now, it's ridiculous. It's great that now you know what we talk about when mentioning the, the McElroys, that you're like getting you're getting in with it now. Oh, uh, yeah. Do what you have to, Mr. Wright. Steal some shit. Break everything. <laughs> February 2-4, ten, ten, um, district, oh. as if we want to know which one we're talking about. It's 10 days after Valentine's Day. What'd they all do? Well... Court's now in session for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. 
Sorry I stepped on your bed there, Jojo. We gotta get this shit going. <laughs> the defense is ready, Your Honor. Prosecution is um, smarter Thinking? than you. <laughs> no, smart. I'm smart and brilliant. Humph? I'm afraid you'll have to clarify like butter, my dude. I don't understand your reference. I don't. <laughs> um... That's so in the character of Edgeworth. <laughs> I don't understand that reference. Why am I holding this paper with two fingers, but the wrong two fingers? <laughs> He's giving this paper a little bit of... Yeah, long, it looks long, like... Long. I knew <laughs> you were like going to do something like gross. Like, that gross? Th that's so gross. Love and sex is natural. It's fine, especially <laughs> when it's with a paper. <laughs> especially when it's paper. It takes 30 minutes by car to reach the police department from the prosecutor's office. Really? What route do you take? Route one. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> yes. Yet the victim, Bruce Goodman, was slain both places at the same time. But that's not physically possible. Maybe not for you. Oh. oh. <laughs> what more? I hear the victim from the evidence room just disappeared. Yeah. And the body eventually reappeared in the trunk of Miss Dageworth's car. I like how Emma is slowly turning into like a street urchin from, <laughs> <laughs> from She's just saying shit. Wow, this is one messed up trial. One of my duties as prosecutor is to present impartial evidence. Today, I will present evidence relating to the murder of the police department. In so doing, I believe the way in which we should proceed will reveal itself. Now this will, uh, <laughs> sets Mr. Edge with pot. He sounds so on top of things. Crikey. Crikey. <laughs> Even though he doesn't know what's going on himself. And that's supposed to be an admirable trait. Why not? Very well. Let the trial resume. On the day of the crime, what exactly transpired at the police department? Murder. Mr. Edgeworth, you may call your first witness of the day to stand. For its first witness, the prosecution calls the suspect of the murder that occurred at the police department. Oh, yeah. dear God, no. Oh, yeah. Wait, who did? Oh, no, oh, it's me. Yeah. The suspect? No. You mean the so-called murderer? So-called. Oh, Edgeworth got a booty. Who oh boy. <laughs> Gams don't quit. Edgeworth got a booty. <laughs> 28 episodes into this shit. Oh, oh fuck oh, me. Oh, no. Oh. Will the witness please state his name and occupation and his opinion of my booty? Oh, boy. Okay, yes, sir. I'm Officer Mike Meekin, sir. Oh, boy. We got a, we got a lot of high-profile oh. voices in this particular <laughs> episode of JoJo Has Fun. It's already clear. <laughs> My uh, my occupation is uh, that would be m m m murder, sir. I can uh, I can see through his mouth and yeah. his soul. Yeah, I can see uh, your tonsils, dude. Uh, Jeez, Louise. Swollen back there. A little bit. Oh no, I've got the strap. Ah, so you're telling us you're a professional killer? Uh, sir, it was me, sir. I'm the one who did it. Ah, uh, they're playing the music that plays when we talk to an idiot. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes. Music that plays in my head all the time. Uh, I'll never kill anyone again, sir. You got to believe me, sir. Ah, oh. uh, actually. So, sir, I'm what you would call part of the y y y y younger generation, sir. Millennial. A person whose actions adults can't possibly comprehend. I'm sorry, what? You um, kill, what? Did you kill him for your gram? What are you talking about? I had to get them pogs, sir. <laughs> I just stabbed this guy. Pogs in the chat. <laughs> Please, Mr. Edgeworth, sir. Help me, sir. Officer Meekins. What up? Y y yes, sir. Give us your report of the crime. Consider that an order. God, uh, you, yes, sir. You know this guy lurks on r slash incel. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> my God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I think, think he's I was an good. admin. <laughs> Black girls always go with the hot guys. I <laughs> fucking hate this dude so much. Uh, after all, I'm a part of the generation that m m must be told what to do, sir. Oh, tell me what to do, sir. <laughs> you can't fault him for a lack of enthusiasm. Don't you tell me what to fault him for. I will. The cat on the, the uh, look, his badge has the, the the same position as he is in right now, like a oh, fucking yes. Dorcas. It's the only thing he knows how to do. Although it's not my normal duty, I was assigned to guard the evidence room that day. I spotted a suspicious man on the security screen and rushed into the room. 
I was only doing what I was trained to, sir. Oh. Doesn't look like you were doing that much. Okay. <laughs> suck it with me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was suddenly attacked. How come your pants don't go all the way down to your shoes? Uh, what are you like, what what are you wearing like what would those be? He's like seven foot two. It's Capris? Yeah. Like it's a fashion choice. Is he wearing socks? No. I fought for my life and I did it. Oh, oh. Sad. after that I passed out until another officer smacked me awake. Uh, <laughs> huh. a fucking idiot. So the victim, Detective Goodman, attacked you. Do d- d- one to others before they d- d- do one to you. That's the Meekins family motto, sir. Really glad you got into police and law enforcement <laughs> with a <laughs> motto like that. Shoot them all, sir. Shoot them all and let God sort them out. I see. <laughs> then you fainted and a colleague helped you regain consciousness. Uh, yes, sir. He n- n- knocked me upside the head, sir. Good. <laughs> the defense may begin its cross-examination. What I need here is more info to work with. Oh, my God. A okay. Stiff drink. Mm-hmm. What I need here is a better class of criminal. Uh, um, Mr. Meekins, you work in the General Affairs Department, do you not? Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, sir. I'm in charge of hiring n- n- new recruits. Yikes. Now that's a scary thought. Evidence transfer was taking place on the day of the crime. I had a thought you were trying to hand me your Diet Coke, and I was just like, I'm not your fucking drink no. holder. <laughs> Although, yes, hold it. <laughs> She's working. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the talent. Which meant many officers were given special tasks not ordinarily performed. I was in charge of guarding the blue badger, sir. Really He's glad. He's got to go fast. Are you telling me my taxes are paid for this <laughs> shit? <laughs> yes, sir. All of those taxes. A lovely police mascot created by the chief of detectives, sir. There he is. Ah, uh, there he is. Stares into my I thought soul. it was invented by Gumshoe. That's a... Oh, maybe. Oh, yeah. Is Gumshoe the chief of detectives? No, it's, it's the guy that Danielle plays, I thought. I don't know. Maybe. Well, he's the chief of the district police. Oh, man. Gumshoe has got a higher rank I'm than I thought. I'm fucking shocked. I was instructed to ensure it wasn't broken during the transfer process. Oh, that was my sole mission for the day, sir. Why does it look like it's got a big fucking handprint on it? I'm gonna fuck you up. I'm the blue badger. Nice. I see. Sounds like <laughs> a very, uh, important mission. After the award ceremony finished that day, there were people running around. And then I relocated the blue badger to the evidence room. Oh, so that's why you went to the evidence room. Tell us. <clears throat> what did you see when you got there? Let's see. I uh, spotted a suspicious... Hold it. Hold it. In order to enter the evidence room, you need an ID card. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what the fuck was that? You need an ID card. Am I correct? Your mouth just stopped working. I don't know. You need an ID card. <laughs> you need an ID card. <laughs> p- 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 precisely, sir. I have one right here around my neck. So then, your ID number should be listed on here, right? What? Oh, no. Blaze it. Blaze it. <laughs> ah, there it is. I found it. That's the one right there. Could you please read us the number? Because that no one animated that shit. 69, <laughs> Oh, hey, there is a nine in there. Yes, sir. It's 49895596. That's my number, sir. I see. Huh? But the number, that one. <laughs> uh, it's shown as being used twice. His, his name is Mike. Oh, he's Mike. Know. Please explain, witness. Uh, it's n- 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 no real mystery, sir. Uh, the first time is when I was relocating the b- 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 blue badger to the evidence room. And then the second time is when I went in to get him after everything settled down. He was so scared. I see. So it was during the second time when... Yes, sir. That's when I spotted the man on the security screen. Oh. Hmm. When this guy ejaculates, it's like an explosion. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Just totally out of context. <laughs> so, so you were attacked. Can you please tell us exactly what happened to you? It was a knife, sir. A knife. The small sword. Detective Gardman pulled a knife on you. What happened then? Well, then, then with me charging on him like that, he looked as surprised as I was. You aren't exactly the kind of person I, someone would want to run into. That's when I reacted, sir. I swung my arms like an octopus, <laughs> struggling to detain him. That's how I got this gash on my hand. Yeah, that. 
maybe if you just kept your cool, uh, your hand cool, cool, kept your cool, your hand wouldn't be. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ooh, and I saw the blood trickling down my arm. I p p panicked and I grabbed the man by his collar. Uh, hold it. What what you done do? What, what you exactly do you mean when you said you did it? I, I know I don't look the type, but I'm really into kung fu films, sir. I had seven years of kung fu training. The man just let us. That was directed at me, and I do not care for it. Oh, I totally that missed was so that. Rude. That was nice. That was nice. Oh, cool, my bad. <laughs> The man just let his guard down for an instant, so I snatched the knife from him. You took his knife. I spun him around and performed a disarming maneuver. I made sure to close my eyes like a man, just like during sex. Sure, he must have been desperate. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing I knew, the white coat was drenched in a sea of my blood. And then, then the next thing I knew... Yeah? He punched me right in my face, sir! <laughs> The money maker. Must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> what about uh, about what time did you regain consciousness? No offense, sir, but how the fuck am I supposed <laughs> to know that? I was unconscious. Oh, right. According to the report from the officer that woke up witness the witness, it was about five of the day. He hit me right in the head, too. Right in the noggin. I woke up crying tears of pain. That's nice. I mean, uh, oh, uh, shit. It's nice that you recovered. <laughs> when I came around, though, I made sure to finish my mission, sir, and I fucked the blue badger. Your oh, what? Yeah. Your mission? Yeah, sir. The blue badger, sir. I fucked him. <laughs> I returned to the entrance before things got out of hand. There is some fucking evidence on him. I just yeah. didn't want to see it before. Yeah. yeah. Gonna rest easy now. I believe we now have a fairly accurate picture of what happened. Yes, your honor. Only one thing remains unclear. Was the man that officer murdered really the victim? Look how nice his face looks. He's so got nice. a good point. Um, uh, yes, Officer Beacons! Uh, with regard to that, sir... Take a look at this! <laughs> it was sent to my jail cell. Chief Gant delivered it to me just this morning. It's a lavender-looking VHS tape. Get ready for this next part, because oh, this is going to blow your fucking mind. Oh, man. The chief? Delivered it? What is that? Seriously! <laughs> it's 2020! <laughs> yes, sir, that's absolutely right. A videotape, sir, in the year 2020. It contains footage from the security camera in the evidence room. What? But I specifically asked if there was such a tape and was told it had been mistakenly erased. Epstein did didn't you... kill himself. Did... <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Just talk to the cowboy that was guarding his cell. That's quite a mistake. I just do what I'm told, sir. It's the only thing I'm really good at. And sometimes not even then. Looks like communication with the police department is as good as ever, he said sarcastically. And sweating. Well, then, let's have a look. Show us the video of you murdering the victim. <laughs> just like wheels Seriously, <laughs> ho hold on. You guys, this is going to... For all we've seen, this will shock you. Okay. Oh, man. It, I, wait, is this going to be like a prison just watch, architect Just watch. Just watch. Oh, please stop using the word <laughs> murder, sir. It's, it scares me. A video of a real murder. Just yeah. what are we getting ourselves into? I don't want to get too erect. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> it's like the Blair Witch and this shit. Is, this yeah. is kind of scary, actually. I know, right? Just wait. Uh, it gets better. Uh, oh, okay. That's an actual That's a model. moving model. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I can't see his face. It could be anybody. Hi. <laughs> I'm your friend. <laughs> Look over here. <laughs> I know, right? This is fucking absurd. This is very strange. And then... Oh, oh. shit. Oh, oh God! God. I know, yes. right? Holy fuck! Holler at your boy! This is like Prison Architect, and all of a sudden it's just violent. Yeah, I got very real. I forgot there are actual murders that play. Oh, shit! He's down on the ground. Where's the other guy? We don't know. Still here. <laughs> Bring the blue badger. Put him on the stand. He knows what happened. He saw it. Who are you protecting? 
<laughs> That's the greatest face. You know, it's really wonderful. Uh, I was not looking. <laughs> I believe we're all thinking the same thing. How can we deal with these strange, unsettling feelings stirred within us? First step, trust falls. <laughs> What the hell was that wriggling piece of plywood? I don't know. Sir, that's the pride and joy of the entire criminal affairs department, sir. It's the blue badger, sir. Why am I not surprised this isn't going smoothly? There we go. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, this tape seems to prove a witness did indeed encounter uh, someone in the evidence room and some sort of... Uh, Act it. Your Honor, instead of relying on clearly incomplete footage, the witness's testimony will suffice. Is that all right with you, Officer Meekins? Yes, sir, as you wish, sir. Oh, ding, ding. Oh, my boy. Oh, Mi- my boy. Mystery man. <laughs> His face can't be clearly seen in the video, but there's no question that the other person was Detective Goodman, sir. I mean, he opened the locker, which required Detective Goodman's fingerprint to do so. The locker he opened is unquestionably Detective Goodman's locker, sir. So he must be him. No one else could have unlocked it. Hmm. Hmm. What's that about a fingerprint? (laughs) Each detective has been given a lock, equipped with fingerprint-activated lock. Cool. These locks ensure that each locker can only be opened by the detective it belongs to. Intriguing is what I would say if I gave a fuck. (laughs) The victim at the crime scene would have had to have been Detective Goodman. Very well, the defense may begin its cross-examination of this no good murderer. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck him. I don't know where this is a cross-examination to lead, but everything begins with contradictions. That's where I have to start. All right. So Uh, are you actually a police officer? Question one. (laughs) First off, how dare you? What do you mean? He was the blue guy, right? <laughs> Tell me, were you able to get a good look at him? At the face of the man who attacked you with the knife? Sir, if you must label people as having been seen or not seen the man's face. Oh, God. Uh, I believe I would be classified as the latter? Just say no. <laughs> you were standing right in front of him, were you not? More to the point, you are the person who fought him, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Yes, sir, but I, I i didn't get a clear look at his face, sir. I'm not the kind of guy who looks directly at people when they're talking. Uh, you know, I don't want to make eye contact. Yeah, that's a good trait for a police <laughs> officer. Still, I'm sure it was him. I bet my b- b- badge on it. Great. Yeah, look, like, look, he's just like, I remember back in the day. Pepperidge Farms remembers. But you don't know that for sure, do you? You've never actually seen Saw, Detective Goodman's face. <laughs> well, I suppose you might say that. That is, if you must label people as being seen or not seen. Since his face can't be identified in the video, you can only only you can verify oh, it. Oh, fuck. Why is everyone l- l- looking at me if I had to label your stares as disturbing or... Why does he keep doing this shit? <laughs> Meekins. <laughs> 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 Having been shown a questionable video at best, we are not in the best of moods. Now, please be certain when you testify. Yes, sir. You claimed the man who brandished the knife on you was Bruce Goodman. Batman? Batman? Tell us, why are you positive it was him? Smelled like him. (laughs) Makes sense. Let's see here. About these lockers, is there no other way to open them? No, sir. I, I, I myself tried all kinds of methods in the past. Well, I can't. Well, I, well. What? Why? I don't know. Why would he have done that? I wanted to get inside. They only <laughs> respond to registered fingerprints, sir. I wonder what kind of methods he's tried. Now, the man opened the locker's lock, which only responds to its registered fingerprints, then he must have been the person the locker was assigned to. Exactly my point, sir. And this, too. <laughs> all right, all that. How do you know that information? I've heard rumors, sir. Heard it through the grapevine? <laughs> I'm about to lose my mind, sir. From <laughs> people in the know, sir. Oh, people in the know? The internet. 
the workers in the department cafeteria, sir. They, they keep me informed. God, this guy makes me so angry. How is anyone <laughs> talking to this guy? They also listen to my romantic trouble, sir. Yeah, I'm sure they love that. <laughs> it's like 10 seconds flat, sir. For the record, the opened locker did indeed belong to Detective Goodman. I verified this information through a more reliable source. Was it a list? Yes. <laughs> ah! So the victim opened the locker with his own fingerprint. Well, it must be unlocked the phone. Okay. However, the most important detail is not shown in this video of the man's face. Sir! If I, if I may say something, sir. Oh. Stop the presses. Please do! Yes. After all, you're the one being examined. I don't understand why the man's face is so important in this case, sir. This guy's a Are you idiot. fucking kidding me? <laughs> what the shit? I mean, it was his hand that opened the fingerprint lock, not his fucking face. That sir. dude didn't bring another hand in. <laughs> and it was his hand that tried to thrust his knife into my b -b 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 body, sir. My unsettled state can testify enough to this, sir. You're always unsettled. Yeah, you have a point. The footage doesn't lie. That is... Unless the defense can find a problem with it. Wink, wink. Mr. Rock, let's check the court record again. Is there a problem with the video? Oh, no, yeah. there's a problem. It's so weird color. <laughs> Regarding the video contained on this tape, there is one thing in particular that seems rather strange. Strange? <laughs> this contradiction leads to the possibility that... Doink. The man may not have been detected. <gasps> what? What? The video contains such a contradiction. Interesting. Your Honor, I have a proposal. Mr. Edgeworth, are you going to say what I think you're going to say? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my girlfriend's told me to stay away from the courtroom today, and now I know why. <laughs> I propose we have the defense <laughs> point out this alleged contradiction in the video. He want me to point it out. I mean, that's oh, what no. he would do. He would want me to point it out. <laughs> yeah, that's he how I would. Said it. You can't just say there's a contradiction and just be like, Anyways, very yeah, well. On. Proposal accepted. Let us further inspect this piece of evidence. I will now play the security video tape. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Mr. Wright, please show us the contradiction you speak of. I have to point out a problem in the video. Oh no! This is the first ding dang time I've ever had to do that. We've never had the money to do this before. <laughs> you can do it, Mr. Wright. It's up to you, so you can fast forward, <laughs> rewind, or pause the video. Oh, you, you mean it's in a VCR? Yeah. Can you enhance? Enhance. <laughs> Take a good look and be sure to point out the right thing. Please don't play game. Please don't play it t t too many times. I can't stand watching this video. Oh my god, I can't stand you. <laughs> How did this guy ever become a police officeman? <laughs> now then, Mr. Wright, enlighten us. Where is the contradiction that indicates the man may not have been Detective Goodman? Uh, <laughs> uh, I think it's that. Yeah. Oh, is it like it's already unlocked? Yeah. That thing's the the, the thing that's straight out this video has got to be. Vi Am I gonna get dinged, Officer Meekins? Sir, do you mean? me, sir. As I understand it, the locker apparatus works like this. <laughs> Hear how it go. <laughs> <laughs> when you grab a handle, a sensor reads your fingerprint if it's a match. Oh. Oh, dang. Did that happen? I don't remember that happening. We never got inside. Yeah, the light turns on and the lock is released. We're making an assumption. We never actually saw this happen. Yeah. According to my... Very limited nug. Uh, oh, I can't. I gotta stop going so fast. According to my very limited experience, that's the way I understand it, sir. If so, then something is seriously wrong with this picture. That <laughs> what could be... possibly be wrong with this? <laughs> Aside from this lilting song that will never end. Here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, hi. Uh, Coming I back around. I am your friend. <laughs> when the victim reaches to open the handle for the locker, let's rewind to a little... Oh, God, really? <laughs> All of it. Why don't you play the song in reverse? Yeah, Cheap-ass fucking game. 
Gonna kill someone And <laughs> then <laughs> I will hide their body Inside the trunk of a car Ain't that fun Here, notice the light Watch this! It's it's already lit like my parties! A joke that JoJo makes all the time! <laughs> Who's JoJo? Precisely my point, <laughs> Your Honor. <laughs> the locker was already open before the victim grabbed the handle! Good. <laughs> I hate this guy. <laughs> order! Order! What's the meaning of this? It's very simple, Your Honor, as I puff up my chest. The locker wasn't locked on the day of the crime. <gasps> But the locker locks are controlled by an electronic system. When a door is shut, a sensor is triggered. And the locker is automatically locked. Oh, I know! It must have broken! Of course, I'm not an expert in this. <laughs> I also didn't know what it was until ten minutes ago. It's not likely, Your Honor. The sensor would detect and report any malfunction. Well, everyone what knows what a the lot fuck about do you want me to tell you? The light was on. A lot of these people know a lot about these lockers. Yes. Oh, well, it just goes to show you that novices keep their mouths shut. Damn. So then, Mr. Wright, the man who just discovered these lockers <laughs> today, do you have any explanation? Me, Your Honor? No, the other Phoenix Wright. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Why wasn't the locker locked? The judge is not having it today. No. no. Uh, me, Your Honor? Oh, what did I say? Uh, yeah, well, you know, see, uh, shit. <laughs> 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 About that. What do you think? Oh, yeah, it's oh, not sorry. me. What do you think, Miss Scientific Investigator? You got a, you got a truth serum in that fucking satchel of yours? Eh? Oh. Mm. Maybe something like jam the system sensor? Something jammed the system sensor. Say... <laughs> There's something mm. else that seems out of place in this day. A piece of paper fell out. Yeah, I thought so too. There's got to be another clue somewhere in this footy. Are you telling me that that wasn't enough to, to shed some doubt? Yeah, I know. They're just the locker wasn't locked. It could yeah. be anybody. Yeah. Bazinga. The locker <laughs> wasn't locked. Find the cause. All right. Aha! Aha! I think that's it. Yeah. yeah. Actually. Oh yeah. Please watch closely. This is the continuation of the part I showed you Jesus. earlier. Wow! In case you were lost. Did somebody roll out the AV cart in like high school to play this in the middle For of the courtroom? For sure. You know <laughs> it. Thousand percent. You fucking know it. Yeah, we watched Bill Nye today. Yay! Bill Nye, the science guy. Bill, Bill, Bill. Today we're gonna go over <laughs> making yogurt or something. Mm. What the hell is this? Frozen yogurt. Some white fry in the locker! But, but sir, it's been in my experience that things fall out when doors <laughs> are opened. Uh... Who asked you ever? I'm still here. What are those flags for? The color brown? <laughs> Ooh, yeah. I didn't notice those before. Can't be sure that item inside was completely inside the locker to begin with. What do you mean? The sensor triggers the lock when the door is shut. What if something was inserted, say, rectally, <laughs> yeah. between the sensor and the door? What a enema. shitty locker system that you could just be like, here's a little piece of paper, and yep. now it's fucked. Yep. Inserted? Oh. <laughs> like a suppository? Oh, or boy, a... oh, boy. Ooh. Sounds like Thursday, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> Now the music is just gone. No music, thank <laughs> God. I was about done with that music. This white thing wasn't inside the locker. It was stuck between the door and the sensor. Oh, I I understand now, sir. It's just like my my, my tie. You're not helping. I'm no. helping. Uh, two out of three times it gets stuck in the door on my uh, patrol vehicle, sir. Oh my God, I want to kill you. <laughs> Instead of the door closing, my tie chokes me. If only it would get the job done. Yeah. But, oh my god, thank you. But the object would have to be extremely thin to fit in. <laughs> the door! <laughs> <laughs> Not only that, it would also have to block electrical currents. It would need to be an insulator. Yeah, insulators! They gotta be quick with the steel, you know what I mean? Yeah. But at the crime scene... There just might have been something that fits the description. My wiener? But, 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 sir, my, my insulator, you mean, oh. I think I finally got this figured out. Wiener. <laughs> Very well. Will the defense please present relevant evidence? 
What was the ancillator? Oh, shit. I'm a lawyer. It was that. Yeah. <laughs> I did it. Um, do you have it? Uh, yeah, I think I do. This, uh, was this rubber the, glove. Was it the glove? The glove. glove. I found this near the locker. A thin rubber the five f- penis condom. Thinnest ever. But we can't be sure this was in the victim's locker. I mean, there's tons of gloves with evidence labels lying <laughs> around. It has a tag that says Slanine. Blit. A glove is just a condom for an echidna. Shut your face. Well, Jeff, can't argue with you. The video seems to depict the victim locker. Sorry. The video (laughs) seems to depict the victim opening the locker. I don't think it's just us. I think the way that this one is written is a little bit weirder. All of the sentences seem a little less natural. Yeah. Yeah. But that isn't the case. The lit lamp attested this. The lit lamp on the day of the crime, even I could have opened that. You locker. did it, you bastard! I did it. Is that no? Is that shit? <laughs> <laughs> is that not so, Officer Meekins? You could probably do a super cut of every yeah. time I fuck up a word in this, <laughs> and it would be like fifteen hours. <laughs> sir, it would appear so, sir. Boo! Boo! Order! 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 <laughs> Three. So many. So we are to believe then that the victim, whom this witness stabbed in the evidence room, was not Detective Goodman. Do you not be misled, Your Honor. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? The defense has merely demonstrated the possibility and nothing more. So the more likely scenario is that he was stabbed in two places at the same time? Joe, I don't find your tone convincing. Oh my god. <laughs> The victim in the video <laughs> was indeed Bruce Goodman. The prosecution will offer more and more testimony to prove this. On next episode of Phoenix <laughs> Wright. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what's weird is after like so many weeks, I do think of this game like a TV show. Like, right. I wonder what's going to happen next week. This is now the long. This is like a. <laughs> this is early, our longest one in- running series in terms of just raw time. The This is like Supernatural. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Length as far as seasons are concerned. It's crazy. This is our foundational uh, game. Yep. Yeah. Officer Meekins, please testify about this. No. Fuck you. <laughs> sir. M- 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 me, sir. They're really leaning into this. Bit. Oh, like, yeah. Like they... someone asked something. It was like, me? Like, a fucking what? Who else? <laughs> I'm not sure what you're r- referring to, sir. <sighs> Anyways. <sighs> ah! Oh, you mean that, sir? Uh, of course, sir. No, it's not fancy. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. We got your testimony. Whatever the judge is not phoning is his performance. I know that much. Yeah, he's a waste Mystery of time. Man 2? I love that one. Best one. <laughs> there, there's one thing. Oh, one other thing. That proves the man was Detective Goodman, sir. To enter the evidence room, he must use the ID card. When an ID card is used, there's a record of it. At the time of the crime, the detective had used his card. Didn't we talk about this like three minutes ago? Uh, yep. An ID card record, huh? I have the idea record a uh, card record. <clears throat> right here, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking I have it. Look. No, it's mine. <laughs> now I have wait, it. Think pe- wait, there wait. it is. Mine. If, if the ID card record can be in two places at <gasps> once. Oh, no. oh shit. <laughs> Oh, dude. We're fucked. Dude. It's you. Dude. Oh. <laughs> the guy <laughs> that you used at four... F- uh, f- 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 <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She's trying to pronounce the colon and then the ellipsis. <laughs> it's a simply victim. <laughs> Just before the crime, huh? Yeah, without a victim. Oh, God <laughs> damn it. Yes, without a doubt, this is the victim's ID. It's not on purpose. No. <laughs> However, one thing does stroke me as unusual. <laughs> Several hundred cases should have been due for transferal. Why are so few people using this room? This particular evidence room is only used for storing certain special cases. And the blue badger. And the blue special badger. Special cases. Extremely violent cases involving police. Oh, there should be way more than. I know, right? There should be a shit ton of lawyers. 
just eating it makes my ass stand on end. Me too. Pew, pew, Although pew. it doesn't make any difference. I've <laughs> 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 said a lot. <laughs> There were only a few cases up for transfer there, and most were cleaned up by noon. Right, I see. <laughs> now, let's move on to okay. the examination. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, let's, let's do some pressing. Some pressing. I've gotten through this with just pressing. So, unlike your earlier testimony, you believe this to be rock solid, do you? <laughs> yes, <laughs> Is that sir. rhetorical? S- Solid as a rock. <laughs> you said stone. Ah, uh, whatever. If my hand wasn't wrapped in b- bandages, I'd kill you with it. I'd even give you the V for victory sign. <laughs> you have another hand, you stupid idiot. I'd give you the V for V. That's what that's what Emma says. <laughs> Quee <Could he> just uses <laughs> Quee just, just uses right hand for that. You know, I feel like this is like the translator who read the line before <laughs> that and was like, "What the fuck is happening here?" <laughs> Let's hear him out. <laughs> As we've seen, one never knows what he might say until the very <laughs> last second. It's called annoying. Yeah. All right. Is that card hanging from your neck, one of these ID cards? Yes, sir. The card right next to my cuff, sir. I keep it there so I won't ever forget it. But what if someone were to steal it from you, <gasps> keeping it out in the open like that? Why would oh, you say that? boy. Maybe I shouldn't wear it around my neck. Remember when I said two out of three times my tie gets stuck when I get out of my car? No. I did say that, though. <laughs> well, the remaining time, it's my ID card that gets stuck. Instead of the door closing, my ID card chokes me. What kind of car do you think he drives? Oh, my God. A Geo. A Mi- yeah, I was, was going to say, say Geo Metro. Or a Miata. Oh, no. Oh, no, yeah, Miata's depending a- on where he is in his life. Like Miatas are almost Miata. cool. Mm. No, he can't have a Miata. A Geo Metro or a Prius that's about to die. It's great because all of us, our first thought was Geo Metro. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. But like like a police Geo Metro, like yeah. he's riding a Golf I, too. I rode around in a Geo Metro for a lot of high school. <laughs> really? Yeah. How is it? Oh, it is. It's like, I don't know if they don't make them anymore, I'm pretty no, sure. No, they don't. But no. like, it's just the worst car. It's a, it's, it's, <laughs> it's a clown car. Yeah. <laughs> That barely fits one person. It's just wow. Yeah, they're I still see him around. Yeah, I, my friend had a red Geo Metro. And oh, he, uh, you know what? And... If not a Geo Metro, Toyota Tercel. Yeah. Ooh, and later a on, classic. A Grand Prix. Oh no, those things look fucking terrible. Yeah, they look like I got stung by bees. My dad oh. drove a Grand Prix. Oh man. Mm-hmm. Of <laughs> <he did. laughs> Which is the car that has like the, the wood panel on the side? Oh, that's the PT Cruiser. No, 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 no. Oh. The old version of that. The, you know what I mean? Like the station wagon? Yeah, the yeah, yeah. That thing. Uh, I think they're just called station wagons. I don't think yeah. <laughs> I don't they really? have they they, like, do they, They're brandless? Yeah. They're just a concept? Yeah, yeah. they're just a concept of wow. a car. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good bit. <laughs> At any rate, each police officer has only one ID card. Both the police department and the prosecutor's office can attest to this. Mm-hmm. Please uh-huh. proceed with your testimony. Uh... uh no, there isn't. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> let it be noted that this is the record the witness is referring to in my hand. Let me see. You had me it, Detective Goodman. <laughs> What's the matter? According to this, Mr. Edgeworth, your name is on here. Yes, <laughs> me, that is my I name, yes. yes. So the gig is up. The uh, gig is up. <laughs> I'm so glad you saw her. I'm fucking up like the text in my mind. Yeah. <laughs> God, that guy is tall as shit. Look at his booty. Look at that poor booty. He may be hiding this. Being a prosecutor's a rabble. Why is there a child here? I don't know. That's a great fucking question. What the fuck? They showed the video of somebody being almost murdered. I know. It would seem the inquiry committee will want to speak with you again today. They have nothing to be ashamed of regarding my actions or their consequences. Me, whenever I go to Golden Corral. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Jeff, if you want to take a picture of this and use it for later, yeah. it'd probably be wise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. For now, let us continue with the cross-examination. That's how you make memes, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Poor Mr. Edgeworth. It must be so difficult for him. Ugh. 
Ooh. Earlier, I believe you testified that when you asked the man to show his ID card, he pulled a knife on you. <laughs> yes, sir. He didn't show me any ID card, sir. <laughs> Don't you think that's odd? I mean, if he had his ID card, all he had to do was show it to you. There wouldn't be any reason to draw a knife. And then he could buy his vape pen. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Holy fuck, sir. Maybe he just panicked. Everything stems from contradictions. Let's point them out. Mr. Watt, what do you think? <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> Daniel's doing this line with like her head down. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Roy. Roy. What? <laughs> 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 The problem with the ID card test to me is test. Oh my (laughs) god, dude! It's just a day. It's the The problem with this ID card testimony is far too obvious. It's not like Edgeworth to miss something like what the fuck am I talking about? Who knows? You're thinking too hard about it. Come on, blah blah blah. Can't say any of them words right. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, it is pretty obvious. Um, it was found at the prosecutor's office, so why was it there? Yeah, true. Uh, it's got to be this. Wait one goddamn minute, Officer oh, Meekins. Oh, fuck. I'm uh, not really good at waiting, sir. I have the victim's ID card right here. It's not this piece of paper. <laughs> we couldn't Freaking. animate me holding a card and smacking it. No. I found it at the crime scene. That makes sense. <laughs> no, it doesn't. When I say crime scene, I'm not referring to the evidence room at the police department. You stupid fucking idiot. I mean, <laughs> the other crime scene. The underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. <laughs> Your Honor, I have one more piece of evidence to present. It's a very important clue regarding the victim's ID card. What's that, what's that his dick? A lost item report. It's only half completed. He died, right? <laughs> it shows that det- <laughs> his last will and testament. <laughs> it shows that Detective Goodman had lost something on the day of the crime. <laughs> something important enough to fill out this report. Was it his life? No. Oh. Let me guess. You believe this something to be his ID card, right? I can't say for sure, but there is high probability. On the day of the crime, Detective Goodman was not carrying his car. <gasps> Boo. Boo! There's some cows there. Moo! Moo! Order! Order! So, uh, what does that mean? <laughs> it can only mean one fucking thing. It doesn't even require much thought. Or a whole lot of dialogue. The man... Oh, Jeff, you're so wrong. <laughs> the man Officer Meekins encountered in the evidence room... Was not Detective Goodman, but rather a man who stole his ID card. Uh, Oro, she. Yeah, he's got a booty. Yeah, right. Yeah. Order, order, order. Does the prosecution have a response? No. I have only one thing to say to the defense. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo, Mr. Wright. Bravo. I didn't mean it. Allow me to summarize the defense's argument. At 5.15 p.m. on the day of the crime. It seems like it's going to be mean. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Let me just read back the bullshit that you read just back said. the minutes for me. <laughs> the man in the evidence room Officer Meekins encountered was not Detective Goodman. Cool, cool. <laughs> I follow. There are two grounds to support this. First, the locker in the evidence room was already unlocked. Oh, I need to check something real quick on the audio. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hang on. Is that ba- bad or... Hmm. <laughs> Jojo left. Bye-bye. He went bye-bye. <laughs> What's on mono? For yours? Fuck. Well, we're not overlapping a whole lot. Danielle's still on a separate track. Yeah, maybe it'll fix itself in post. I don't know. Well, we still have the audio, though. Yeah. Okay, it just might sound a little bit different. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was cool. Jeff, talk. 
Hey, what's up? Yeah, so you may have noticed the first part of this episode's audio was kind of weird. Uh, our bad. Yeah. <laughs> Still um, there. That's I mean, good. I unless I uh, unless we had to completely re-record this, uh, it should sound a little better now. But anyway, um, uh, Danielle, did you talk or I did? Okay, cool. Did. Uh, Second, the victim lost his ID card. Am I correct so far, Mister Wright? Yeah. <laughs> What's he up to? That being the case, we must inevitably arrive at a single conclusion. If the victim in this video is a fake, then the murder in the evidence room is also fake. In other words, the security camera does not show the incident of the murder. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah, yeah. Something wrong, Mr. Wright. Only moments ago, you seemed content to be pointing your finger well, around. Well, look who's pointing now. <laughs> oh, this isn't going to end well. <laughs> ah, well, well, it seems you've finally realized exactly what you've gone to such great lengths to prove. Explain yourself, Mr. Atworth! The defense has already done the explaining for me. Oh, no. <laughs> the victim in this video is a fake, which means the murder did not take place at the, the police department on 550... At 515 at the team... Fuck, crime. <laughs> <laughs> crime but balls. So... So the real crime could only take place at one location, the underground parking lot, at the prosecutor's office. The murderer being Ms. Lana Sky, the defendant. The evidence is compelling. That's not up to you. It is. Ah! A trustworthy witness. Who we proved lied like six times. <laughs> Observed the moment the defendant used the murder weapon. Even though she did not. Ah! <laughs> oh. Well, cool. All right. I knew that testimony was way too shabby. It was all a trap from the beginning. You just got played. Ah, I just played myself. The activity in the evidence room still leaves many questions unanswered. Like, what? <laughs> and, huh? <laughs> Who exactly was the victim Officer Meekins encountered? And where did this person disappear to? However, this trial's purpose is to examine only the murder of Detective Goodman. Well, uh, yes, things are okay. Just so, Your Honor. Mr. Rock, you have to do something about it, or else use Lana. Uh, what do I do? How am I supposed to get out of this mess? Big boob ghost, big boob ghost, big boob ghost. <laughs> One moment, Your Honor. What well, now, Mr. Wright? Don't tell me you're objecting to what you've just proven. I'm a stupid idiot. I am. <laughs> of course not. But I almost walked right into the prosecution's trap. Whoa. I almost triggered your trap card. What are you talking about? This cross-examination has proven one thing and one thing only. The security video did not show the actual murder. What an awful fucking security camera that just like ride that just keeps rotates panning. from side to side at a very perfect like speed. Yeah, what? if you knew just how fast it would go, you could definitely do a murder there. Oh yeah, for sure. Yep, deaf do a murder. Deaf murders. Defo. Deaf comedy murder jam. Yeah, my favorite. Mm. Where'd he go? Mm. Or indeed. He's inside the locker. However, Aha! he's still there. It cannot be said that it's unrelated to the murder in the parking lot. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that's right. Specifically, large amounts of blood traces were found in the evidence room. People bleed in there all the time. The defense demands further examination to the truth of the matter. Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, Your Honor. If this court were to examine this further, other witnesses will be necessary. New voices! Is the prosecution prepared? I'm sorry, Your Honor. The prosecution considered the incident at the police department to be unrelated. Why would you do that? I'm very good at compartmentalizing. <laughs> <laughs> we have not prepared any other witnesses for this incident. 
Oh no! God oh God. shit! This just might be my chance. Well, I have witnesses. Time to call a certain Texas Ranger to the oh, stand. God. Oh God! Mr. No. Wright, do you mean? Your Honor, the defense would like to request a specific witness. Oh, whom do you have in mind? Someone we have reason to believe knows the truth. The truth behind the activities that took place in the evidence room. The prosecution requests to hear this person's name. No. Before deciding whether or not to comply. Yeehaw. Very well then, <laughs> Mr. Wright. This person whom you would have testify, what is his or her name? Or theirs. Dang. Officer Matt Mercer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why him? I can't let Edgeworth know everything just yet. Secret. He's in charge of the evidence room. I feel we should hear what he has to say. The prosecution agrees to the defense's request. If you you can't decline necessarily. Yes, I can. Yeah. Since he was responsible for guarding the room, we should hear his testimony. Uh, fortunately, he works in the police department. We shouldn't need longer than twenty minutes to prepare. He's like eating lunch, and they just yank him. He's yeah. like that Salisbury steak. <laughs> uh, what? Very well. The court will take 30 whole minutes to... Wow! 30-minute recess, huh? Oh, damn. Hell yeah. Will the prosecution please prepare the witness during this time? We will, Your Honor. Court is now in recess. Bye! <laughs> Bye-bye! Farewell! <laughs> February 24, 11.32 a.m., District Court Lobby Number 2. Oh... There's no stopping you, is there, Mr. Wright? Huh? What do you mean? You called for Jake Marshall. It seems you've figured everything out. Uh, I haven't figured out shit. You know we're <laughs> lovers. Say it. Lena. You're the one who knows everything. Yeah, you fucking idiot. Fool. Emma. <laughs> Burns. <laughs> You always know everything. Why don't you just tell us? Yeah, yeah the, the game F. won't be fun, though, if we just know the answer. Ugh. Mr. Roy is trying his oddest to protect you. I don't recall ever asking for his protection. His protection? Protection. <laughs> protection. <laughs> I've been in jail for two days. <laughs> it's really hard on me. Clearly. Protection. How can you be so cool? Don't you trust us? Don't you trust... Me. You fucking little cosplayer, no! <laughs> what the shit are you wearing? Also, I'm wearing something crazy yeah. too, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Out of fucking nowhere. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, hope I'm not interrupting anything, pals! Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, guess I am. <laughs> I'll come back. Why? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wait, Detective Gumshoe, what is it? <laughs> no, I got to go. We could have just started here. I, they should have just had it where he leaves. <laughs> <laughs> you got a lot of nerve, pal, making the detective run around while on duty. And top it off, you've called me here. I've seen happier people at funerals. Sorry, detective. <laughs> you better be, pal. I'm not your pal. Hey, 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 hey. Whoa, what the hey, fuck? I didn't Jesus see that, Christ. Chief Prosecutor Sky. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> okay, so what, you brought what I asked? Oh, oh, ho, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> What the <laughs> fuck is happening right now? Someone I don't broke know. Him. You, you mean this, right? I, I lost the voice. My mom goes, <laughs> yes, thank you. My apologies, detective. <laughs> Due to my present circumstances, I was forced to use Mr. Wright's name when making my request. My name? That's fraud. Yeah. Never in a million years would I have thought it was you who asked me. Could I bother you to bring me the Slanine incident files? I'll need them by noon. Talk about crazy. The Slanine incident. Lena, this. I thought Mr. Wright might need them, so I had them brought here. They're very lovingly, like, dog-eared. Mm -hmm. We got yeah. those little different multicolors. Very, very nice. Yeah, you might do well to read them. Right fucking now, I have half an hour. 
can't believe you, the chief prosecutor, were witness in that case. Well, witness is a different word than some people would Miss, use. Miss Sky was a witness? It's Lenine. <laughs> 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 it just says it. Um, take it from me. You don't want anything to do with serial murders. Moitas? Moitas. Serial. I'm hungry. Oh, what? Now you even brought me your stuff. You're just going to ignore me. Ahem. Jesus Christ. It's cool. You can just put my tip on the app. Emma, but why? Why is your name in here? Oh, shit. Right, row. What? My name's in there. I don't, I don't know. In this. No, it couldn't be. Lena, this slow nine incident. Is there? Huh. Birds <laughs> outside again. Huh. <laughs> oh, that's the classification number the police filed it under. Two years ago, the rest of the world knew it as the Joe Darky Killings. <laughs> I think it's supposed to just be dark. The Joe Darky Killings. <laughs> Let me just take a little peek at this. Uh... All right. Joe Darky. Per uh, uh, crime. Is this how files look? Yeah, crime, this is how files look. Crime, serial murder, sentence, death. This looks like a fucking... Like, People he killed. Edward Jones, wow. Jason Knight, Edith Kirby, Rachel Moss, Jeb Bates, Neil Marshall. I don't know. Neil Marshall? Edward Jones? Uh, isn't that like a real estate person? <laughs> Head prosecutor, Miles Edgeworth, witnesses, Lana Sky, Emma Sky. What the fuck? Executive investigators, Damon Gant, Lana Sky... Head investigator Bruce Goodman, investigators Jake Marshall, Angel Star. Huh, it's a lot of names that we're familiar mm. with. Yeah. The Joe Dockey? <laughs> no! No, Lona! This over with! No! What the fuck is happening? Uh, Emma, wait. No! Wait, 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 so, uh, you know what? I just remembered. I gotta be somewhere. <laughs> Sorry, pal, but I'm out of here. Just a smoke bomb down. <laughs> Jake Marshall, Angel Star, Damon Gant, Miles Edgeworth, not to mention Lana and Emma. How old what? is Emma again? What the fuck? Let's find out. Uh, How long ago did that happen? Uh, she was 14. Wow. Jesus Christ. Oh, two years ago. That's Everyone right. involved in this case is connected to those killings two years ago. This can't just be a coincidence. Coinc Why is it in... I don't know. I don't think the person who translated this did a very good job. <laughs> Knowing you, you just might be able to figure it out. God, I hope so. <laughs> Time to get back to the trial, Mr. Wright. Best of luck. <laughs> I better take a good look at this file. Don't worry, I already did. To be continued. <laughs> so we got, uh, we've done an hour and three minutes. Oh, God. Fucking what? Yeah. Oh, dang. Wow. Jeez Louise. Jeez. Uh. Do you want to go more or do you want to stop? Let's just do a little more. Let's just get to our first fucking well, This piece is all we're bullshit. recording today. So. Yeah. Uh, a little behind the I, scenes yeah, for all well, of you well, listeners out there. This is all recorded. Yeah, this today. is what you get. This, this is what you get on our Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> this is butt pictures, but mainly this. And it's just butt pictures of the cats. That's right. That Danielle takes. Yeah. <laughs> on accident because she doesn't know how her phone works yet. <laughs> or what a cat is. <laughs> I took a picture of this dog. That's a cat butt. <laughs> The court will now reconvene for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. Emma didn't come back. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Allow me to call the next witness to the stand. She's like slamming a foster somewhere in a <laughs> oh, bar nearby. <laughs> oh, this is a bunch of Marmite, is it? <laughs> <laughs> the officer in charge. Oh, my. Uh, here we go. God, I hate this Oh, story. man, I have no dialogue this entire time now. Must be nice. Whee! I'm going to go warm my coffee up. Uh, okay, make sure the thing's still recording. Witness, uh, please state your name and occupation. Me, partner? Oh, I'm just a man same as you, wandering the trails of civilization. Occasionally helping with the elderly cross intersections when needed. Yes, we get it. Oh, I know! You're a patrolman! 
the one below. As for my name, if you listen hard enough, you can hear the howling wind calling it out. I cannot get over <laughs> how fucking annoying this guy is. It's the worst. To be exact, it's Jake Marshall, your honor. Howling wind? I've never heard Edgeworth described that way before. Now, Mr. Marshall, let me ask you something. You were in charge of guarding the evidence room on the day the crime took place. Is this correct? Ugh. According to the papers, partner. What do you mean? A desperado soul is as boundless <laughs> as the desert sands. No paper can sum it up. Now roll for initiative. <laughs> Maybe it's best we get all of this quickly. Please share this your testimony on the day of the crime in plain old English. All right. My job is to keep a weary eye on that bone orchard. They said it was supposed to make the rounds three times a day, but that ain't my style. What? <laughs> Besides, the room's protected by two security systems anyway. If I remember right, I was at a street side saloon at the time it went down. I'm just an innocent traveling man, so if you're out of ammo, it's time I hit the trail. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't say I particularly care for your attitude. Can't say I care for your beard when you don't hear <laughs> me complaining. Wait a minute. What do you mean by two security systems? I mean the security cameras and the ID card reader. I reckon even a cowboy like you knows about those. Yeah, well, what about the fingerprint activated locks on the evidence lockers? Fingerprint activated locks? What kind of newfangled doohickeys are those? <laughs> He's not being very helpful. He's not that good with machines or with following orders. Everyone's got their weaknesses. Now, don't they, Mr. Prosecutor? Mine's chocolate. <laughs> this one seems like trouble. Okay, Mr. Wright, it's all yours. Uh, let's press. How exactly did you keep an eye on the evidence room? I just made sure nothing moved in the security camera monitor. That room's so still. Even time dies in there. <laughs> I was just a caretaker and turned the recordings. God, this guy's poetic. I hate this guy. You interred them? Videos of nothing aren't that useful. When the time would come, I'd erase the tape. If nothing unusual is recorded, the tapes are to be erased every six hours. That's, that's a pretty well, slim you don't know. Each time I'd erase the tape, it felt like I was erasing part of my life. What the fuck? <laughs> this guy's a flavor of the dramatic, but it's not doing him any good. So in actuality, you don't physically... Oh, shit. Enter the <laughs> evidence room. They said I was supposed to make the rounds three times a day, but then... Okay, let's see what this one says. <laughs> but you made your rounds on the day of the crime, right? Ain't you heard a word I said, partner? I told you that I intentionally didn't do my job. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> I use that excuse at work all the time. Yep. No desperado I know that's rude getting his way. No desperados I know join the police force. So, Officer Marshall, on the day of the crime. Just with you and me, I didn't even set foot in that evidence room that day. There was a rubber glove stuck in the victim's locker. Got anything about that? Sorry, partner. Can't say I do. I haven't been in that crypt in weeks. How does this guy avoid being fired, Jeff? <laughs> oh, my God. Press. You used to be a detective, so you've used the evidence room in the past, correct? Of course. Back in the day, my locker was a gold mine of evidence. And yet, you didn't know about the fingerprint locking mechanism. Sorry, partner. I ain't good with machines. I couldn't tell you how a bike works. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> that was like... That, those are two thoughts I can't hold in my head one after another. <laughs> what about magnets? <laughs> magnets, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, magnets. Who understands how those work? The answers on the locker handles cannot be seen. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking who... Translated this shit. <laughs> Fucking A, man. It's well known that some detectives are unaware of their presence. Why not just tell them? Yeah. Why um, the secrecy? Yeah, what the fuck? Now now that he mentions it, Detective Gumshoe said some bullshit like that, too, <laughs> to establish it. So it's not just random information. <laughs> anyway, right? doesn't seem that it's relevant to the crime. What? <laughs> <laughs> Can you please tell us what you were doing when the crime took place? 
What were you doing during crime time? Hang on. What were you doing in a place like that? I was eating spaghetti. <laughs> I just can't. I just... This fucking game, man. <laughs> Not even Angel Steak lunches can beat the parlor's Von Gold sepia pasta. What the, the fuck? fuck? I don't... <laughs> I don't <laughs> That's not a real thing. I thought you guys said what the fuck at exactly the same time. <laughs> is it what Von, Von Gole? Is that a thing? I don't, I don't know what that thing. is. Look it up. Von Gole Sepia. Von Gole Sepia Pasta? Yeah. yeah. Is that a food? Yeah. Wait, Von Gole Sepia in the Liguria region, uh, region of Italy, east of Genoa, spaghetti alle von gole, veracci, means spaghetti with tiny baby clams in the shells. Ew! No more than the size the of a shells? thumbnail. Wow. With, they're in the shells, so you crunch crunch them? I guess so. What? With a white wine garlic sauce, linguine may also be used for the pasta in preference to spaghetti. Wow. Ew. And now we know. You mean to tell us you abandon your police duties to eat some noodles? Crunchy noodles. Not all desperados eat tacos, partner. Oh. <laughs> huh. Oh my god. No. Tell, tell me more. Are you confusing? Anyways. <laughs> That's not. Oh god. I hope this at least taught you a lesson. That's strange. <laughs> what? This is usually where... Really? <laughs> what? What about this is strange Tell to me, you, Phoenix? Yes. One thing. Parse it out for me. <laughs> Walk me through your process. This is usually where Edgeworth says, Did you not want to raise this year? <laughs> huh. Uh, just an innocent traveling alcoholic. <laughs> out of ammo, Officer Marshall. That's right, partner. Or as you call it, Evidence. No, I call it evidence, <laughs> not ammo, you fuck. If you plan to pin this, uh, cr uh, pin me to this crime, then you better draw. Otherwise, you're just wasting my time. My steel horse is waiting to carry me back west into the sunset. <laughs> huh. One thing seems clear. Despite being responsible for guarding the evidence room, Lennis doesn't appear to have seen anything. Texans don't take orders from anyone. Everyone knows that. Apparently your superiors don't. Okay, <laughs> oh. I have a trump card up my sleeve, so let's keep cool. Uh, before I use it, though, I better up the ante. Uh, Why how? am I what? talking like this? Yeah. I'm a cowboy, too. I have become a cowboy. That was like a thing that was in the comedy special. I forget the guy's name, where he was talking about Texas, and their actual state motto is friendship. Mm, really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right? You wouldn't expect that. Yeah, they're like, hey, big, big and guns. and uh, No, it's just friendship. Which is not what I usually associate with Texas, but no, whatever. not at all. See here. Um, okay. All right, I got a splotch there. Uh, Bruce Goodman's thing. This. What do I have that proves he was in there? Uh, is his handprint? Really? We did the fingerprints, and it was his fingerprints. How do I? Uh, you should have a thing that's just the fingerprint, Marshall's oh. fingerprints. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um. Bone orchard. <laughs> Borchard. I'm just an innocent traveler to man. I guess I'll say it here. So we're out of ammo. It's time I hit the dusty uh, trail. Yeah. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Got howdy. it. You fuck. Officer Marshall, doesn't it strike you as odd? That is. You being called in to testify like this? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> After all, you weren't in the security room at the time of the crime. Slap, slap, slap. And yet you dragged me down here. Explain yourself, partner. Glub, glub, glub. This is just water. I'm staying hydrated. It's quite simple. You played yourself. <laughs> <laughs> or to be exact... A handprint. <laughs> what? You know what? I, sometimes I say you played yourself, and it's really fun, but it uh, it, it doesn't replace the dialogue. Yeah, no, you still have to say some words. Uh, listen, real good, partner. Like I said, I'm the caretaker of that crypt. Jesus <laughs> I just Christ! Thought it tales from the crypt for some reason. Uh, I pay my respects. That is, make my rounds about once a month. Once a month? It's only natural my fingerprints would be in there, covered in blood. Yeah, <laughs> normal. I only wish it were so, officer. But you see, your fingerprints were covered in blood. Blood, boo, blood, boo. Oh, boo. him from the back is not flattering. I didn't see. Uh, Witness, what's the meaning of this? Your bloodstained fingerprints were at the crime scene? The blood was wiped away. However, however, 
The luminol test clearly revealed this. Well, Officer Marshall? Ugh, I want to see his, like, crazy look. Uh, seems to me I there believe- ain't a person in this room with a head on his shoulders. What? I take it you have an explanation then, Officer Marshall. Yeah, why did you go into the evidence room covered in blood? Yeah, where'd you get the blood? (laughs) Whose was it? Can I have some? Danielle. Oh, (laughs) about the blood-stained fingerprints. Very well. You may get your testimony about your fingerprints. (laughs) Found the scene of the crime covered in blood. Normal. Totally normal and not suspicious. Mm Mm-mm. Like I said, it's only natural for my fingerprints to be in the evidence room. One of them just happened to be the same place as a bloodstained hand. (laughs) (laughs) It's coincidence, Coincidence. you fucking idiots. (laughs) Oh, my God. Really? (laughs) (laughs) The (laughs) bloodstained... Oh, God. The murderer was wearing gloves. How did you know that? I can't even say this because it's so stupid. (laughs) See, I had nothing to do with it. He just touched my finger after the fact. The winner's explanation appears bullshit. (laughs) Uh, Life wouldn't be... Is that really the alarm now? (laughs) Wow. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this fucking shit. <laughs> Next week on JoJo Has Fun, as long as the audio came out good and we didn't have to do this again. That would suck. Uh, here we go. Uh, we're going to do more of this, this bad boy. Uh, we'll see you then. Farewell. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, my God. I'm having one of the worst things. <laughs> it was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs>